Where I am at now used to be a protected area. Do you know that villagers once stood along the riverbanks? Hi, I'm Mervin. Join me today as I share five interesting facts about the Lost Forest Pandan Nature Reserve. Pandan is an area situated in the central region of Singapore and Ulu Pandan refers to the area bounded by Ulu Pandan River in the south, Holland Road to the north and North Bono Vista Road to the east. Now, do you know why this area is named Ulu Pandan? Originally, this was a swamp land occupied by Malays who earned a living by fishing for crabs and prawns. They also harvested coconuts, bananas and other tropical fruits. Ulu Pandan is named after the Ulu Pandan River that cuts across the area. Ulu in Malay means upstream, while Pandan refers to the wild school pine trees found along the riverbank. Do you know that up till 1968, Pandan Nature Reserve was a protected area? In 1908, it was one of 15 forested areas protected under the Forest Ordinance. It stood at 259 hectares in 1928 and was protected under the 1951 Nature Reserve Ordinance. But after independence, Singapore's march towards industrialization saw the reserve shrinking to 219 hectares in 1966. By 1968, Pandan Nature Reserve lost its status as a protected area. Today, what remains of the former reserve is this mangrove forest. Besides being home to a rich biodiversity of flora and fauna, did you know that this mangrove forest also housed villages? A report in 1958 described one of these isolated villages at the edge of the forest. Kampong Teban had 135 people living in 27 houses built on stilts. Many villagers worked as cast net prawning farmers, but in the early 1960s, part of the forest was converted into prawn ponds. This not only affected the villagers and their way of life, nature also lost part of itself as well. Ulu Pandan was also the site of a major rubber production company. Did you know that? Hokkien's were one of the early Chinese settlers in Ulu Pandan, and they set up rambutan, durian, and rubber plantations. Chinese businessman Li Chun Guan led the Ulu Pandan Rubber Estates Limited in 1909 and bought over many existing rubber estates. The company became a major rubber producer, producing 9,000 pounds of rubber monthly by 1923. It employed 200 mostly Javanese coolies and housed them on site. But as rubber business became unprofitable, the company's fortune fell as well. It eventually wound up in 1952 and just like rubber, became a memory of Singapore's past. Where I'm at now is Pandan Reservoir. Did you know that this used to be swampy grounds? This reservoir was created in 1974 as the Jurong area industrialized. In order to provide water to the industrial and residential areas in the western part of Singapore, the mouth of Sungai Pandan was closed off. Do you also know that Pandan Reservoir is the largest service reservoir providing non-potable water to the surrounding industrial estates? Today, it is a vibrant water sports hub where you can sail, kayak, fish, or simply take a walk. Little was done in land management during Singapore's early days, and primary forest habitats were almost completely destroyed. The Pandan Nature Reserve is now a former shell of itself, and it serves as a reminder that nature can be lost. 